Ace Hardware. They can be reached at 721-2500. They're located at Gray's Crossing there in Tennessee Ridge. That's on Highway 49. That's Ace Hardware. You can reach them at 721-2500. Ace Hardware, your friendly hardware place. Signature Healthcare, where quality of life is their mantra. Located in the Arlington community of here in Tennessee. They can be reached at 289-4141 for any information you may need. From a dream to reality, Traditions First Bank. They can be reached at 289-5500. It doesn't matter whether it's a, a banking account, a checking account, buying a car, or a house there. Check them out. Houston, Houston County's, County's County. only Looking hometown bank. Children daily, whether it's a simple volleyball or a uh, show or, or uh, anything just to keep it on. And electrical and heating and air conditioning for all your plumbing, electrical, heating and air conditioning needs. Call us at 931-289-4301. We install rude, reliable heating and air conditioning products. Call us at 931-289-4301. Call us today. Again, that's Arnold's Heating and Cooling, and their offices are at 2211 West Main Street here in Erin, Tennessee.
going on this evening because most of you probably came to hear a band concert, right? Surprise. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, March has uh, been set by the, used to be the Music Educators National Conference, the NBC, um, an organization of which I am a member. Um, here, I guess last year, they changed it to the National Association for Music Education, whatever, it's just semantics. But um, March has been set by that organization as Music in Our Schools Month, a month in which we recognize music and music education and its importance uh, to a well-rounded education. Um, there are several teachers in the audience, and, and I'm sure you can agree with me that sometimes the, the important things that we do can't be tested, aren't on tests, um, things that bring value to education. Um, and I'm not just speaking about music. There are things that, that all of us as teachers do, English, science, math, and whatever, um, that aren't tested, that you can't put a number on, that sometimes are more important. And uh, March has been set by that organization um, to recognize music education. And that's why we have changed our format. Uh, those of you who have been coming to this concert the last couple of years, you probably are used to hearing lots and lots and lots of marches. You're only going to hear one tonight um, at the very end. But uh, so what we decided to do, and, and the plan initially was, with all the snow that we normally get in January and February, that doing small ensembles would be a good way to still have a lot of music and still be able to do a concert. And then we missed two days, one for snow and one for thunderstorms that we didn't get. <laughs> um, so my plan was moot. So uh, we went ahead and continued with it anyway. And a lot of the work that you're hearing that the students are, are doing tonight in these groups, they have done the majority of it themselves. Um, I'm not able to spend a lot of time. There's eight groups playing tonight. So I'm not able to spend a lot of time with each one. And so if they would rehearse a little, I would come and work with them. They would rehearse some more. I would go somewhere else. And I basically ran for two months. Unfortunately, it didn't do anything for my physique. Um, but a lot of the work you're hearing this evening, they have done themselves. Um, the first group that played was a woodwind quartet uh, playing an arrangement of the hornpipe uh, from Handel's Water Music Suite. Uh, written in the early 1700s, uh, then an original composition for trumpet, choir, um, uh, fanfare, and air, allegro and air, something, I should know that, but there's so many pieces on the concert this evening. Um, the last piece the percussion group just played uh, was the finale to the 1812 Overture by Tchaikovsky, which despite popular belief is not about the War of 1812. Um, it was written about the Russian defeat of Napoleon in the year of 1812. Uh, so it has absolutely nothing to do with American independence. We only like it because it has cannons in it. Um, unfortunately, Fort Donaldson wouldn't loan us there this evening. Um, the next group is a brass quintet doing an arrangement of Elsa's procession to the cathedral, which in band circles is one of the most gorgeous pieces of music ever composed. Um, it was originally written by Richard Wagner, uh, the German composer of what they call music dramas. Um, he did not like the Italians. He refused to call his music uh, operas, so he referred to them as music dramas because he was that arrogant. And uh, he did a, a music drama called Lohengrin, um, and this uh, piece is from that music drama, Elsa's Procession to Cathedral, in which Elsa is going to get married um, it was transcribed for band by Lucien Calais in the early part of the last century. Um, you have to remember, when Wagner wrote this piece, it was implied that it would be written for an orchestra of several. We reduced it to five. Um, so this is a very difficult arrangement that they are playing. I gave it to them and they said, yes, let's do it. And I, I think you'll be pleasantly surprised and pleased with the work that they've accomplished. So here's the Houston County High School Brass Quintet with Elsa's procession to the cathedral. <laughs>
after the flute choir plays, we will have a brief, about 10 minute intermission to change the stage and get ready for the window.
hundreds in Manchester, England, known then as Shaking Quakers because of the passionate shaking that would occur during the, their religious services. They were viewed as radicals, and their members were sometimes harassed and even imprisoned by the English. One of those imprisoned, Anne Lee, was named official leader of the church upon her release in 1772. Two years later, driven by her vision of a holy sanctuary in the New World, she led a small group of followers to the shores of America, where they founded a colony in rural New York. The Shakers were pacifists who kept a very low profile, and their membership increased only modestly during the decades following their arrival. At their peak in the 1830s, there were some 6,000 members in 19 communities interspersed between Maine and Kentucky. Soon after the Civil War, their membership declined dramatically. Their practice of intense simplicity and celibacy accounts for much of their decline. Today, there is only one active Shaker community remaining, the Sabbath Day Lake Shaker Village in New Gloucester, Maine. They maintain a Shaker library, a Shaker <coughs> museum, and a website. The Shakers were known for their architecture, crafts, furniture, and perhaps most notably, their songs. Shaker songs were traditionally sung in unison without instrumental accompaniment. Singing and dancing were vital components of Shaker worship and everyday life. Over 8,000 songs and some 800 songbooks were created, most of them during the 1830s to 1860s in Shaker communities throughout New England. In yonder valley, in yonder valley, valley there flows sweet union. Let us arise and drink our fill. The winters passed and the springs appeared. The turtle dove is in our land. In yonder valley, there flows sweet union. Let us arise and drink our fill. Thank you. 
love. Comforts flow in a mighty current. We shall drink at the fountains above. Yea, we will rejoice that free, with freedom in this straight little narrow way. Here is the fold in the lamb's all feeding on this green we'll skip and play.
simple gifts. Tis the gift to be simple. Tis the gift to be free. Tis the gift to come down where we ought to be. And when we find ourselves in the place just right, we'll be in the valley of love and delight. When true simplicity is gained, to bow and to bend, shan't be ashamed. To turn, turn we will be our delight, till by turning, turning we come round right.
Duke's A Room Play was originally written for choir and was transcribed for band by the composer soon after. <laughs> <laughs> The piece was inspired by an Edward S. poem, which was transcribed into Latin by Charles Anthony Silvestri. Light, warm and heavy as pure gold, the angels sing softly. This is new word.
love that. Uh, we're going to close with a march. That's what you do on a band concert. You play a march at the end. Um, thank you guys for coming this evening. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, like I said at the beginning of the concert, this was very different. Um, and I think that the journey has proved well worth it. You may not have been able to tell so much in the first half because it was so different. Um, but it has really, really helped the overall sound of uh, It was an endeavor that was worthwhile, I think, and I think the kids enjoyed it. Um, so we come back in May. May 15th, I believe, is our spring concert. You'll get nothing but this, so uh, it'll be a wonderful thing. We, we close this evening with the Carl King March Aces of the Air. Thank you.